Tidy V News has seen evidence of growing support for a change in the law on assisted dying. The campaign group Dignity in Dying conducted the largest ever survey of people's views and it shared the results with us. And it'll increase the pressure on politicians to act. It found that 75% of people in Britain supported a change in the law on assisted suicide. And more than half said that they would consider travelling to Switzerland for an assisted death if they were terminally ill. Now, the poll also found a majority of support across all age groups and all constituencies. Those of Muslim faith are the only demographic opposed to assisted suicide. And in the first of a new series, looking at the issues surrounded assisted dying, our UK editor Paul Brand heard the views of a terminal cancer patient and his close family. OK, Josie. I know. I know. Nick Brown's days are precious now, and yet he's given this one to us. Luckily, you're very brave. A lifetime Fantastic. working with horses will very soon come to an end. And Nick wants you to know it won't be the one he wishes for. What are you doing then? Hey? They just said, unfortunately, you have, um, you have uh, tumours in your brain and you've got three months to live. And so that was the prognosis on December the 4th. And so really it's a case of waiting, really. My condition is going to deteriorate, there is no question. And unfortunately, I will become paralysed. What does a good death look like to you? A good death for me would be something catastrophic. You know, if I, if I was here today, walked out of the yard and had a, a massive heart attack would be a result for me. Nick's death is a certainty his family have faced too. But the lack of choice is what his wife Sasha can't accept. She wants there to be a way to help him die peacefully. Nobody wants to die losing their dignity, which is essentially what is going to happen to him. And yeah, I'm really scared. Naturally, we want to hold on to the people we love right until the last possible moment. Yeah. Are you ready to, or would you be ready to say goodbye to Nick before I... then? I think you're never going to be really ready. I'd much rather say goodbye and just accept that's going to happen. I, I am OK with that because I would rather he doesn't suffer or lose his dignity. And I would much rather that happens now than another month on of his decline. I like this one. Yeah, this, that is really it's rather lovely. lovely. And that. In fact, the whole of Nick's family, like the majority of the public, support his wish for an assisted death, which, unlike in some other countries, remains illegal in the UK. I didn't get it to start with, but I think it's, I think it's so hard for people to understand until they've lived with someone or know someone close to them that goes through something like this, and then it will make sense to you because it just, you don't want to see someone like that. At this point, we really know I am at the end. I really, I really am at the end. And I know that physically I am at the end. I ended up washing on that floor, you know, sat in a chair, naked, which is not very dignified. And um, so for me to have an option of just saying, Do you know, this is a point when really I would really like to finish right now. And uh, that's going to be much better. I don't want to live that way myself. When I first was like against it, I also thought I might hold guilt about it. I think a lot of that guilt was sending you off to another country and not being by your side. Would obviously. you do that? What? Do you, would you, regarding an assisted death? Yeah. I would, would want you, to be with you, Would yeah. you? Oh. <laughs> don't, don't look at me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so but, but, but basically, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I would want to be together. I think, I so think that's the I whole that's reason a, I, I, why I, suppose, I didn't want to go I like, suppose because abroad, because it's wanting to be it's more personal. with you. There are signs political opinion is shifting in favour of families like Nick's. But the arguments against yeah. are long and sincerely held, including by some senior yeah. doctors like David Randall. I am scared of being cared for. Why wouldn't you want him to have that peace and that reassurance of knowing that an assisted death is available to him? Hearing that 
and I, and I would really send my best wishes to Nick. My concern is that exposes vulnerable people to the risks of being pressed into this or feeling they have no choice. And actually, it's part of my job as a doctor to address that. And I really believe that's possible through the best quality palliative care. That debate is likely to be taken to Parliament after the election. Too late, in all likelihood, for Nick and his family, who don't just want to look back on a good life, but a good death. Paul Brandt, ITV News.